Welcome to Microsoft Access Expert Level 9, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we're going to continue our focus on multiple forms and how they work together. We're going to start out by setting a customer discount rate on the customer form, which will then propagate down to the order form when you create a new order for that customer. So if the customer has a 25% discount, any new orders that you put in the system for that customer will also get a 25% discount. That will also then propagate down to the line items on the order. So we'll see how all that works. Then we'll see how to do something similar with multiple tax rates. We'll set it up so each customer can have their own different tax rate. Some customers may be tax exempt, so their rate would be zero. Others may be in a particular county that has an eight and a half percent sales tax. Others might be a seven and a half percent sales tax. The sales tax rate will then also propagate down to the order, which will determine whether each item on the order is taxable and what the rate is. Then we'll take into consideration that certain products may or may not be taxable. For example, a loaf of bread you wouldn't pay sales tax on, whereas a new computer you would. We'll add taxable or not taxable to the product combo box, so you can see it right there, and then we'll adjust our calculations accordingly. Now, even if you're not building an order entry system for your own use, all the techniques that I'm going to show you, having values work between forms and propagating across different records, this is very important stuff regardless of what kind of database you're building. Having your tables and your forms being able to work together is extremely important. Then once we're done with all that stuff, we'll start building a printable invoice so we can actually print something out to give to our customer or send it to them as a PDF file. We'll learn some new report techniques, including inserting sub-reports into our main reports. Now, this class is a continuation of Access Expert Level 8. We learned a lot of the stuff that we're going to continue working with in this class. The products and vendors form, calculated query fields are very important, the initial sales tax calculations that we're going to edit in this class, the if function, immediate if, which we're going to again continue working with today, rounding values, and we built the initial order form and subform in Access Expert Level 8. So if you have not watched that class, I strongly recommend you do so before continuing with today's lessons. This class was designed to be used with Access 2013. If you're using 2007 or 2010, you shouldn't have any problems following along, as the three versions are almost identical. If you do happen to come across something that's significantly different, please email me and let me know. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you should be able to follow along with the lessons covered today. Most of the material is pretty much the same. There's no exact match for this class in my older lessons. The material that I'm covering today has come from several different lessons, and there's some new stuff added in. I used to not cover order entry at all until my advanced lessons, Access 301. However, now I've decided to move some of the material into the expert series. So this is kind of a, a patchwork of material covered from various other classes. But you should be able to follow along. The menus are a little different, but the rest of the stuff's all the same. You are strongly encouraged to build the database that I build in class. It's the best way to learn. However, if you're lazy like me, go ahead and download it from my website at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. My courses are broken up into four groups, beginner, expert, advanced, and developer. The beginner lessons are designed to give you a basic overview of the simple features of Access. The expert series, the one you're in now, is designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with access. The advanced lessons cover working with macros, automation, and many more advanced features. And the developer lessons get into programming with Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. Each of the series are broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level 1. The beginner series, for example, had levels 1 through 9. In addition to my normal access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, 
learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In Lesson 1, we're going to take the order entry form that we started building in Access Expert 8, and we're going to add on a customer discount rate. So each customer can have their own discount rate, which propagates down to their orders, and that propagates down to all the line items on the orders. Then we'll recalculate the sales tax and figure out a new grand total. In Lesson 2, we're going to set up multiple sales tax rates, so each customer can have their own sales tax rate, whether they're taxable or not, or if they're in a different location. Each order can have its own sales tax rate. You may have a tax-exempt order. And each item can have its own sales tax rate. You may have a tax-exempt product, like a gallon of milk. And we'll see how to set up system defaults, so new customers get whatever default tax rate you have set up without embedding that value inside of your tables and queries. In Lesson 3, we'll learn how to make certain products non-taxable. So in addition to the customers having their own tax rate, each order having its own tax rate, each item having its own tax rate on the order, we can also say that if the product itself is not taxable, like a loaf of bread, then don't charge sales tax. In Lesson 4, we're going to take our order entry system that we're building and create a printable invoice. In Lesson 5, we're finishing up our printable invoice. We'll take a look at some problems with the can shrink property to get rid of blank spaces for missing data. And we'll learn how to open a report to a specific record so we can print just one specific invoice. <laughs>